good place to wreck a train is in a tunnel. Takes time to clean it up, holds up traffic. The trick is to make the shot after your target gets in the tunnel. The mole takes care of that. The mole is a set of photoelectric equipment which, when plunged into sudden darkness, initiates an explosive charge. It consists of a photoelectric cell, the eye of the mole, a relay unit or amplifier, and a special electric detonator. The photo cell, attached by magnets to its target, must be so placed that it can literally see the roadbed. Sensitized by light, this cell builds up an impulse from an accumulation of daylight. And when this light is suddenly removed, as happens when a train goes into a tunnel, the impulse is released and transmitted to the relay unit where it is amplified into a charge sufficient to detonate the explosive. This electric charge activates the electric detonator, which is inserted in the explosive. Before using the mole, however, a test run was made to find out where to place a charge to get the most complete wreck. Using a four-wheel European-type boxcar, we put about two pounds of molded plastic explosive on top of its journal box. You reach the journal box between the pedestal and the wheel. The charge is well hidden there by the pedestal and spring. We put this car on the end of a long train of flat cars, got moving, and for convenience, set the shot off electrically from inside the coach. Watch for the explosion on the left-hand side. We put the charge on the forward wheel of that side. It shattered the wheel all right, but didn't wreck the car. The coupling didn't break, and the car dragged several hundred feet before the train's brake stopped it. The dragging pedestal damaged the ties. The broken wheel. The other wheel on that axle derailed. The rear wheels stayed on the track. It was decided that we could have done more damage if the coupling at the forward end of the car had broken. It's the standard European turnbuckle coupling with hook and link. To make sure of its breaking in the next run, we taped a pound of plastic explosive to the draw bar and put the knotted end of a primer cord in it. A charge was placed on the pedestal as before and the other end of the primer cord put in that. The soft metal keepers protecting the magnets of the photocell come off. And to be sure of a good contact for the magnets, it's a good idea to scrape away the paint and rust on the inside of the pedestal. The electric detonator goes into the explosive. The relay unit sits on top of the charge and is fastened down with tape. Pull the arming pin and shove off. The charges are in the forward end of the third box car. They were set off by the mole responding to the darkness of the tunnel. The charges shattered the wheel and part of the coupling, wrecking the train about 125 feet beyond the tunnel. The car carrying the explosive wound up upside down. The three cars behind it were completely wrecked. You can see what the drawbar explosion did. It seems apparent then that shattering a forward wheel of one of the cars and parting its coupling will wreck a train of European-type cars. To cut the axle, we used a linear-shaped charge 
containing six pounds of cast 50-50 pentalite. The bracket to hold it is made to clamp to the underside of the center sill of the freight car. The charge is secured in the bracket with three set screws. A hole takes the special electric detonator, which normally would connect to a mole. The charge was mounted directly over the axle with its base about nine inches above the top of the five inch axle. The train for the experiment consisted of locomotive and tender, coach, flats, and two gondola cars, all empty. It approached at 25 miles per hour. The charge is under the last car, above the rear axle of the front truck. Watch the beating the rear car takes after the axle is broken. The journals work free of the bearings. The airline, severed by the explosion, sets the brakes on the whole train. One wheel under the middle of the car tangles with the air brake gear, jacking up the rear truck as the train comes to a halt. The journals of the broken axle came out of these empty boxes. The other wheel is jammed under the middle structure. The center sill where the charge blew we believe that the wreck would have been even more serious if the disabled car had been followed by a train with a heavy load. With the proper detonators and amplifiers, the mole will activate any type of demolition that can be placed on a train. Its purpose is to cause this kind of a mess in a tunnel.